what's up everybody welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i hope you had an amazing week i do not exactly have a lot of energy this morning because i had a dream about my sister last night and um on saturday this week will make it three years since my elder sister passed so i've been dreaming about her for some days now i know some people always say that it's not good to dream about dead people and stuff but <laughs> ah it's three years already so my energy is not like hope i remember somebody asking me on instagram saying that you always have energy i'm like no bro i don't always there are times when i have zero energy and i literally just have to you know drag myself out of bed let me be honest i was going to come here to say what's up everybody but i just thought why am i pretending i know a lot of you know that um i mean a lot of you always put um i see your comment when a lot of you why am i stammering today hey god i see you people's comment i'd be like oh i love your energy oh you're always happy you're always smiling it's the smile for me it's the laughter it's the energy so that's why in my head i was like just come and do what's up everybody especially because wednesday's vlog was sort of sad but i just say you know what i cannot come and do what come and be presenting to you people because I mean, this is what really happens to people in real life here. There are times when people are sad. There are times when people are happy. There are times when people are down. You know, people face different. People go through different phases in life. So today, my energy is zero. So pray for me. <laughs> you know, I'm not about to do another sad vlog today because I do not want you guys to be sad and I don't want anybody crying. And, you know, by the way, thank you for watching my previous video. I'm sorry for making you guys cry. I just always like to make people happy and smile and, you know, yeah, all of that great stuff. Um, I, I need you guys to please advise me on something. So since my sister passed, I have not been to her graveside. I don't know where she was buried because I couldn't just go because I didn't believe that she was dead. And, um, this week is going to make it three years. I'm thinking of going to the graveside. You know, I don't know if it's, I don't know if foreclosure or whatever, but I just, I'm just thinking to go. Although I'm not sure if I'm mentally ready. I think I might just break down, but a part of me just wants to know. I feel like it's three years. Why won't I know where my sister was buried? So please advise me in the comment below, please. Just tell me, do you think I should go or do you think I shouldn't? I really want to go and see the place. And another part of me is scared that I might just mess i mean that it might mess up my emotions and i don't know i don't know so i'm just so please leave it in the comment down below and advise me what do you think <clears throat> what do you think i should do should i go to the graveside or not please leave it on the comment down below thank you very much uh okay so today i honestly did not want to vlog but i just thought to carry you guys along because i remember that i said that i'll be letting you guys into the behind the scene this is not actually a movie set anyway but i have um an audition um self-tape that i have to submit today and um yes yeah, so i just want to carry you guys through it basically the story is about a woman who has been married to her husband i think for years because they didn't usually when you want to audition they don't give you like the full script so you just have like um by the way i'm wearing this ring because i'm like in character and i'm wearing this because i'm in character basically <clears throat> so i think from what i read i think they've been married for years and the woman is not happy and every time she's trying to talk to her husband about it it's always very dismissive and you know it's not it's not paying attention and all of that so i have my reader <laughs> who will be reading for me yes yeah? so it will be reading as the husband while i will be acting as um, the wife uh yeah usually self tape takes a lot of time don't worry i'm not going to bore you guys okay i'll try as much as possible to it's always hard <laughs> Sometimes you just want to do it like once, but you end up doing it like 20 times. I hope I don't take 20 today before I get the right um, self-tape. But yeah, basically that's that's what the self-tape is about. So I'll be using this white background because um, the scene is a night scene. Of course, I'm not shooting at night, but it doesn't matter. What matters the most is that, you know, 
you um, you do the lines you just deliver so that's why I just thought okay if it's a night scene and they're almost ready to go to bed I think the wife would have like a bonnet or something just try to portray the character and that's why I have this ring on like I've said um okay so I think this gray blouse is too I, I'm I, I'm thinking I think I'm pff, oh Gianna I think I'm going to change this top because I'm going to wear something else that I because my background is white so I just want to wear something that will pop a little by the way the instruction for the monologue is not to look into the camera so when I start um my um my when I start the audition tape basically I'm not going to be looking into the camera I'm going to be looking looking away from the camera so yeah come and see how we do it though so you know that acting is not easy <laughs> okay let's go stick around let me quickly change my top see you in a minute i just feel like you don't, i just feel like you don't get well i do now well, I do now. Well, I do. Well, well, I do now. I just feel like, I just feel that, I just feel that the things between us might have run their course. When if you, well, if you don't agree, we don't talk. We don't talk. We don't talk. About, yeah, about the boiler, about the holidays and insurance. We don't have conversations. I just feel that the things, it's the things between us as run its course. I just feel the things between us must have run their course, might have run their course. That's not right. You're doing it again. Shoot. Okay. We're born, we're strong, we're too familiar. We know everything. We finish each other's sentences, but we get them wrong. We're strong, we're We're bored, we're too familiar. That's the line. So what is it? You want to go off to India or something? Well, I do now. So tell me. Tell me clearly. I just feel like things between us might have run their course. I didn't agree. Well, if you don't agree... We don't talk. We talk. Honey. Yeah, about the boiler, about holidays and insurance. We don't have conversations. So what do you want to tell me? I've not been happy. I think we are quite happy. Oh, you're doing it again. Happy enough for married people, honey. I mean, compared to some, I didn't realize the accent. I thought it was a time of life thing. Ugh. Well, I don't know, honey, if you never tell me. If you never ask. I am asking now, specifically. It's everything. It's how we are. We're bored, we're stuck, we're too familiar. We finish each other's sentences, but we get them wrong. These are all very general, honey. Is there something you can put your finger on that I have done recently and specifically to make you feel? It's cumulative. It's an accumulation of things. I crying. <sighs> okay, guys, so I... I actually cried. I don't know why I cried. Okay, this is why I cried here. Yeah. I did like 21 takes. I think because of the state of my mind today, it's been really difficult filming this. I have had to take a break in between, like to go through the lines again. <clears throat> to go through the lines again. You know, I already know my lines. I just feel like because I'm not, the energy is not there. So that's why I kept messing up and everything. Yeah. And of course, I had to take a break in between. So I started in the 
um, almost afternoon like like past 11 thereabout but i'm still here it's like what time is it now like it's almost evening so i had to my other light is not working so i just had to change the position of the light and everything whatever all of that is not important yeah so when you get into camera um when you get into character you sort of like feel the the character the role you are playing even more so this is not the tears of oh i'm sad or something i can actually just really feel you know for the character plus i really had to push myself i did like 21 times i'm going to take a screenshot of it so that you can actually count i was missing my lines at the beginning not because i don't have my lines but because because of the state where i was when i started i was just not in the right place mentally so i was just trying to push because today's the it's the deadline so don't be like me do things ahead of time before the deadline but anyway i was working and i was busy yeah, yeah so wish me all the best or pray for me i I, I'm sure that everything is going to turn out well at the end of the day. Thank you so much for watching my bloopers and all the behind the scenes. <laughs> In my head, I was like, Delana, are you sure you are going to post on this thing? So uh, but I'm just like, let me just show them the arena. Sometimes this thing is not easy. So please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Please share this video. Please um, leave a comment down below. And please, I really do need your advice on, um, you know, I need your advice if you think I should go to my sister's great grave side or not. Please leave it in the comment down below. I love you guys. Have an amazing week. Do take care of yourself. And until next time, be well.